I'm Jenny. Thanks for watching Doing Life with Jenny. This is the foster dog, Ned. Always in my face. And today we're talking about what I would have done differently had I not become a Spanish teacher. Stay tuned. Let me preface this video by saying I'm not telling you not to go to college. I'm not telling you to go to college. You have to do what is right for you. So talk to your family, talk to people that have been in your situation, find some blogs or YouTube video on the topic and they will be great help. So in college, I was working at JCPenney and then for the last couple months, I was working at Walmart. So I was just working part-time, making minimum wage. Actually at Walmart, I was making slightly more than minimum wage. I was making $10 an hour. Minimum wage at the time was eight something, I don't recall. So it was years ago. Then upon graduating, I started teaching Spanish the Monday after graduation. So then I got my steady income. Not a big income, but a steady income. Thank you, Lola. I have four beagles here, folks. It's always noisy. That's why you hear click, click, click all over the floor. So yeah, but of course, upon starting to make that income for my career, I also had to start paying my student loans. So I took out about $20,000 $20, between undergrad and getting my master's. And when it was all said and done, I paid $40,000, you know, because interest but all of the loans are paid off. I'll make another video on how I paid them off and how I paid them off quickly. So that being said, was it worth it? Was it worth spending three and a half years in undergrad, two years doing my master's, three and a half years going to school and working part-time? Let's break down the math some numbers by you and then I'll do the math. So there's negative 40,000 for <laughs> the student loans, okay? And then on average I would say I made about $8.30 doing part-time work for the three and a half years I was in college. I've been teaching for 14 years so I'll say my, my salary has averaged about $44,000 a year. Obviously, I started lower and I'm higher at the moment. And then the $62,000 or $65,000 is what I could have been making all along. Doing what? Driving a truck. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I now know I should have been a truck driver if you look at the math, okay? So let me add this up. Yes. But again, the 44,000 is like the average I have made each year teaching. Again, I've been teaching for 14 years now. So 44,000 times 14 years equals $576,000. And then plus 16,200 roughly that I made working part-time while in college. Then minus, $40,000. Actually, I already subtracted the $40,000 um, that I had to pay in tuition, which is why I got $576,000 and not that plus $40,000. I don't do math in my head. Okay? However, if I had graduated high school and become a truck driver right after graduating, one, I wouldn't have spent $40,000 in tuition and interest on the tuition loans. I would have been making more than $8.30 per hour those three and a half years during college. And I would have been making at least $65,000 on average. Of course, I'm trying to factor in like what the starting pay is now versus what it may have been then. Um, when I looked a couple weeks ago, a lot of the trucking companies were offering like a starting salary of $70,000, $75,000 per year. St 
starting out. Like, I will never make that as a teacher. Never, never, never. So, kind of kicking myself for that. And, you know, not only with truck driving, but with other careers, you don't have to go to school. Maybe you have to take some kind of course and get a certificate. Like, obviously, there's going to be some kind of training, but you're not going to be in college year after year racking up debt. Um, so I highly suggest that you look into something like truck driving, some kind of trade, where, yes, you will need some education, but you won't have to be paying tuition. The, the instruction that you'll need to buy, or the certificate you'll need to buy, is basically pennies compared to what you're going to be making right off the bat, instead of, you know, four or five years later after graduating. So again, I'm not trying to say don't go to college or do go to college, but I just wanted to put this in the back of your mind because I wish I would have known this then instead of three weeks ago, okay? So good luck in making any decisions you have on education and career, guys. Adios.